Hi everybody, Andrea here. So I'm just going to cut right down to the chase. You saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, I am pregnant and we couldn't wait to share it with everybody. So this is more of a personal, is it a vlog, whatever people call those things, but I'm a dental hygienist. So I'm a mobile dental hygienist. If you follow me on YouTube, you're either a dental professional, you're a dental hygiene student, a dental assisting student, or maybe you're even a patient of mine. But this is more a personal vlog, so anybody can watch it. I'm sure people will be watching this who just want to learn about the first trimester and pregnancy, because let me tell you, as soon as I became pregnant, I was on YouTube right away typing in things like first trimester or how did I know I was was pregnant so I've been watching some amazing youtubers that are going through the experience as well and they're telling me the baby essentials like what you should put on your baby registry and all of that has just been so helpful so I wanted to do something similar and I thought it would be cool to have it on video so I can look at these videos 10 years down the road I can show my future child 10 years down the road how I felt when my child was in my tummy so that's pretty cool right so if you are still watching this, then you want to know more about it. So I am almost 39 years old. I did not think I'd be having my own children, not because I didn't want any children, but I just didn't meet the right guy to have children with. And I met the love of my life two years ago, and he already has two children. So his oldest is almost 16. So I couldn't blame him if he said to me, I don't want any more kids, you know, but he just didn't think that was going to be in the cards for him. So we wanted to kind of see how things went. I had never lived with kids before. They're my first stepkids, you know, that kind of thing, right? But then lo and behold, we did decide to have our own child and I am almost 39. So I'm not in my 20s. I'm considered old for having a baby. So what the doctors say is it's probably going to take you at least a year to get pregnant. So like no rush, don't, don't stress, don't worry about it. And the thing about us is we both said we're not going to stress about it. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen the natural way. That's okay. Um, IVF, all of those other things you could do. I personally wasn't interested in um, anything else. I just figured, hey, we'll give it a shot. If it doesn't work, don't worry. So we got pregnant after two months of trying. That's it. And I'm shocked. I truly am. I thought it would take at least a year. Like we didn't plan for this, I guess, you know, like we built our, our house. We just moved into our new home August of this year and we don't have enough bedrooms. <laughs> But the great thing is, is see this office here, you guys, this office is going to become Aiden's room, my stepson, and then the baby is going to be upstairs. So we have three bedrooms upstairs, the two kids and our master, and then we both have offices down here. So we're just going to do a little switch. My office desk and everything is going to move into Adrian's office now because it's bigger. So it's all working out. I can share all of that in another video, but it's all working out. Now, in case you want to know, how did I tell Adrian? So I basically left those three pregnancy test strips. I'll have to show you guys. I don't have it in, don't have it with me. I didn't think about that, but I can show you in the next video. But he saw them and he didn't know what they were. Like they aren't those normal um, pregnancy tests that everybody sees. They were just strips. I'm a dental hygienist, so actually I have things that look like that for sterilizing, that test the sterilizer. So he saw them and he's just like, oh, you had left your dental stuff over here. And um, I couldn't stop laughing because that wasn't what I expected his reaction to be. I expected him to look at those strips and go, oh my God, are you pregnant? But he looks at them and he's like, what are these? Oh, you had left your dental stuff over here. <laughs> so I couldn't stop laughing. And he's like, "Why? what's so funny? Why are you laughing? And I was laughing so hard I couldn't even get the words out. So when I finally could, I said to him, do you not know what those are? I think I'm pregnant. And then he's like, oh my goodness. So it was hilarious. It was really funny. Um, I did the test. I did it three times. It said I was pregnant. Now, the reason why I did the test was really just kind of out of a fluke. 
I wasn't feeling very well, just like general sickness symptoms. I just thought I wasn't feeling well. I did actually hurt my neck the day before, so I thought I wasn't feeling well because of my neck. But then I was sick in the morning, and I'm not one to throw up. So I was sick in the morning. Again, didn't think for a second that I was pregnant. But I figured, hey, you know what? I have nothing better to do. Let's take one of those pregnancy tests because I had like a bulk of like 50 from Amazon. I can leave the link for you guys down below for those tests. Like they're such a good price. They're in bulk. So you don't have to worry about paying for those expensive tests. But anyways, so I just took it. I went to go dye my hair like box dye. That's it because it's fall. I kind of like to go a little bit darker and then I like to get highlights by my amazing hairstylist. So I was dyeing my hair. I like took the test got in the shower, got out of the shower. Like I wasn't even going to look at it. I just kind of walked by and I did like a double take, like there's two lines. So that was pretty cool, but I still didn't believe it. So I took another test a couple hours later, the same thing. And then I took another one the next day and then I'm like, okay, I might be, but with my age and how long I wanted children for, I'm kind of nervous. Like is something going to happen? But we're going to just take it as is and be positive, right? So do you want to know how we told the kids? So they came over because we have the kids every other week. So when they came over, we really like those charcuterie boards. So we made one of those for dinner. I think it was lunch actually. And then we had rolled up a piece of paper. Oh, which I do have actually. I can show you guys that. We rolled up two little pieces of paper. One said Andrea's. And then the next one says pregnant. So each kid, Aiden and Ajax, were able to unroll one of these and they read it out loud and that's how they found out and they were extremely excited. So that was perfect. Um, and then of course, one of the first questions was, where are we, where's the baby gonna go? Where are we gonna sleep? So, and then we had handled that, but it went really, really well. They were super excited because you know why? We did prepare them ahead of time. We talked to them about it maybe six months ago saying, well, how do you feel? If we had a baby, we don't know if it's going to happen, but we're, we're talking about it. Like, how do you guys feel about that? Do you have any questions? And they were very excited. Keep in mind, they're almost 16 and 14. So, um, they are older and they're very mature about things. So that was really, really great. And then why we couldn't wait. So I still haven't had my first doctor's appointment. I suspect I'm three weeks along just because of when my last period was. I'm three or four weeks along. That's what I suspect. So it's quite early to tell people. People say doctor, you know, just people say, I don't even think doctors say, but people say you should really wait three months before telling people, but we're just so excited. We couldn't wait. It's so hard to keep this secret. And they say that because anything can happen within the first three months. Anything can happen anytime. But when within those first three months, there's so much that can go wrong that the baby might not, you know, it might not work out. Let's put it that way, but enough thinking negative. Let's think positive, but we're just so excited. We couldn't wait to tell people and I would like to normalize it. Like we shouldn't have to hold this in for, th for three months. If anything happens, you guys, we'll all talk about it and I'll have amazing support, but I'm a big believer in thinking positive. So we told our families first, of course, and then we decided to post on social media. Now I'm doing this YouTube video. So if you want to follow along with me, I am going to be doing more videos like this probably once a month at least just to kind of recap everything and I hope you guys enjoy it and somebody will enjoy these personal videos just as I've enjoyed somebody else's like personal baby videos where they're talking about pregnancy, where they're talking about all of it. I've been really having so much fun listening to these YouTube videos. Last but not least, do you guys want to know my symptoms? So the only symptoms I've been having so far is cramps, like period cramps. I've been bloated. That's been insane. Like bloating is insane, but it seems to be better now that I'm further along. Like I was bloated the first week. I was bloated. No, it was mainly the first week. And then I wasn't so bad. Um, but I haven't even had my doctor's test yet. So I don't know how far along I am 
just to remind you guys. And I was sick one time. I had a matcha latte and got like really sick. So maybe it was the matcha latte. I don't know. Um, and my chest has really hurt. So that's the truth. And all of those things I don't normally have. So that's what kind of made me take that pregnancy test. So, and apparently those are one of the first symptoms is your chest hurting, period, like cramps and bloating. And I have them all. So I take this as a really good sign. Is that silly? But I take this as a really good sign. So you guys, I'm curious. I know it's too early for this, but comment below. Do you think I'm going to have a boy or a girl? What do you guys think? Let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts and I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to keep doing it. If not for other people, it's going to be for me where I get to watch this in the future. And let me know if you guys have any questions, comment below. I would love to hear, especially if you're one of those people who are almost 40 and pregnant. I would love to hear because I'm 39 and pregnant and it's the best thing ever. We're so excited. Definitely follow me on Facebook if you want to, because that's where I'm posting some pictures um, and on Instagram too. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.